It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Well, Thursday marked the one-year anniversary of the start of Robert Mueller's investigation, which is the first anniversary Trump actually remembered. <laughs> Just ask his wife, Melanie. <laughs> and for those of us following this investigation, it's been an exhausting year. It actually ages a person. I mean, here's a picture of me and Shay now, and here's a picture of us from last year. <laughs> I think with the Russia investigation, ultimately what you think about the investigation really depends on what you think of Trump. It's sort of like when you hear this. Laurel. Laurel. Yeah, like some people hear Laurel while some idiots hear Yanny. <laughs> wow, uh, a lot of Laurel fans. That's sort of how it is with the Russia investigation. If you like Trump, this is kind of what you hear. It's a witch hunt. That's all it is. There was no collusion. But it... But if you don't like Trump, this is what you hear. I'm getting away with it, bitches. <laughs> President Trump posted a sarcastic message on the anniversary of the Mueller probe saying, congratulations, America. We are now into the second year of the greatest witch hunt in American history. You know what? It is pretty great. <laughs> Personally, I like how unfair and mean-spirited it is. It's not every day that a black man can root for the feds, but I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Rachel Dolezal get kicked out of a Starbucks. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm for that. Rudy Giuliani claimed that his legal team has been told off the record of an informant in the Trump campaign which is hilarious, because Giuliani is like one of those rappers that sings about all the people he shot, and then he finally gets locked up for it and says, yo, I think somebody's snitching. <laughs> it was reported that President Trump talks to Sean Hannity almost every night before bed. Wow, I never thought I'd say this, but poor Sean Hannity. <laughs> Can you imagine a worse voice to hear right before you go to sleep? Just heavy breathing mixed with a crinkling of <laughs> cheeseburger wrappers. And was that a flush? <laughs> also, Sean Hannity's a journalist. Can you imagine if Obama had been calling Anderson Cooper every night before he went to bed? I mean, Anderson can. <laughs> I, just, I just think Hannity loses a lot of integrity as a journalist if he ends his night saying, no, Mr. President, you hang up. North Korea issued a statement condemning National Security Advisor John Bolton, saying they do not hide their feelings of repugnance toward him, which... I can get, because look at him. He looks like he still calls jazz jungle music. <laughs> <laughs> Trump promised protections for Kim Jong-un if he makes a deal during their meeting, but warned that if talks fall apart, he would decimate them. You know, real Nobel Peace Prize stuff. <laughs> Reminds me of Martin Luther King's famous speech, dream a nightmare, take your pick. <laughs> New footage was released of Bill Gates talking about a meeting with President Trump in which Trump asked him if HPV and HIV were the same thing. Adding, and which is the one that shows Property Brothers? <laughs> and for real, Trump asked this of Bill Gates on two separate occasions, so you know homie got HPV. <laughs> homie? <laughs> Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump attended the ribbon-cutting ceremony of the new U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, or as they call a ribbon-cutting ceremony in Israel, a bris. 